The headlines on RT International. Barack Obama compares the Russian president to Saddam Hussein while slamming White House candidate Donald Trump's appearance on this channel. The U.S. Olympic team were allowed to use banned substances, both during the Rio Games and earlier. This according to documents stolen from a database of the World Anti-Doping Agency. The UK's 2011 intervention in Libya was based on slippery intelligence and, quote, erroneous assumptions, the key finding of a new report by Britain's Foreign Affairs Committee. And in America, a hacker faces 16 years in prison for revealing the names of rapists who now walk free. Midday right here in Moscow, you're watching RT International. From all of us here, a very warm welcome to you. As the race for the White House continues to heat up, Barack Obama has jumped on the bandwagon of slamming Donald Trump for his appearance on this channel last week. And then you got the doctor, who just last week went on Russian state television to talk down our military and to curry favor with Vladimir Putin. He loves this guy. Artis Kelimopan is in Washington with more on what Obama had to say about his uh, Russian counterpart. U.S. President Barack Obama was campaigning in Philadelphia for Hillary Clinton, and he criticized Donald Trump for his recent interview with Larry King here on RT. What surprised you the most about running for office? Uh, the media has been unbelievably dishonest. I mean, they'll take a statement that you make, which is perfect, and they'll cut it up and chop it up and shorten it or lengthen it or do something with it, and all of a sudden it doesn't look as good as it did when you actually said it. Barack Obama went on to criticize Trump for what he perceived as a criticism of the U.S. military, um, as well as criticizing Trump for a perceived admiration of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Uh, then Barack Obama surprised many people and went from there to compare Russian President Vladimir Putin to former Iraqi strongman Saddam Hussein. Let's take a listen. And when the interviewer asked him, well, why... Why do you support this guy? He's a strong guy. Look, he's got an 82% poll rating. Well, yes, so Saddam Hussein had a 90% poll rating. Now, later in his remarks, Barack Obama pointed out that this election has more, quote, crazy stuff than usual. Um, and people are speculating that it seems like this kind of unexpected comparison it may be another example of some of the crazy stuff he was referring to. Well, to uh, dissect the rhetoric behind Obama's speech, we spoke with a number of political analysts and authors. I've never seen this level of partisanship within an administration where uh, a sitting president actually regards uh, the opposition party as the enemy of the state. The loss of prestige, you become desperate. And that's what I see uh, with uh, the Obama administration today, and indeed with Hillary Clinton. I think they're, they're looking at desperate measures, they're lashing out, they are blaming the messenger rather than the message. They're trying to distract from the substance of the allegations brought against them, uh, even when it's revelations of their own emails and their own statements. I find myself wondering just how ridiculous can this campaign get? Uh, how is it that uh, any person can almost say anything and before you know it, it's front page news? It, it's a dangerous thing to do. It doesn't make any sense. It certainly doesn't help set a useful stage for later on after the election is over and the new president is installed. What do you do then? Uh, what, do you take back everything that was said that might have been inflammatory or, or, or caused some sort of a problem? If you ask me, it just doesn't make any sense. Whenever we have presidential elections, we always consider it to be the silly season. And this is no exception. I think it was a very spiteful statement by uh, Obama. I think it uh, reflects the fact that uh, he is frustrated in that he cannot outsmart President Putin, who is a strategic thinker. 
and so he has to uh, go down into the gutter and, and uh, throw out things. Also, Obama only got 54 percent favorable ratings, so I guess maybe he's a little jealous of uh, Mr. Putin's uh, ratings. We'll have more on the U.S. presidential race and the recent statement from President Obama with Russian envoy to the U.N. Vitaly Cherkin. Do stay with us, a live interview with Sophie Shevanazzi and Sophie Co. That's 1430 GMT. U.S. presidential hopeful Donald Trump's charitable foundation under investigation now by the New York Attorney General. Authorities want to ensure it complies with state laws governing nonprofit organizations amid allegations that Trump inappropriately spent money from the charity. But the Republicans' campaign says the probe is motivated by presidential politics, ultimately condemning the New York Attorney General for constantly turning a blind eye to the Clinton Foundation. The FBI is investigating alleged corruption links to the Clinton Foundation after years of growing criticism and controversy over the Democratic candidate's charity. Social media users suggesting there may be double standards in official treatment of the two foundations. How is Trump Foundation trending while the DNC is on fire? A Democrat attorney general opens an investigation into Trump Foundation, but not Clinton Foundation. Shocking. Should be on every front page how Clintons use taxpayers' funds to operate foundation. Not one mention. Why we demand Trump? Politically motivated probe by a New York attorney general who has a completely obvious conflict of interest.